Hi, I'm Rich Callgard, publisher and columnist at Forbes, and I'm here today at SanDisk Corporation, the global leader in flash memory storage solutions, with Ravi Naik, the chief information officer, and Judy Bruner, the chief financial officer. We're going to explore what uh, the CIO and CFO relationship at healthy companies looks like. So uh, tell us the last five years at, at SanDisk. Boy, you've got, undergone some incredible transformations. We have. Uh, we've grown tremendously over the last five years and we've expanded our product portfolio. We have, uh, I believe, one of the broadest product portfolios in the industry. Uh, we're extremely profitable and we're generating significant cash flow. And in the intersection between IT and finance, what are some of the key issues that you, you consciously work on so that you're not speaking different languages. We actually worked that out really well, um, both from the IT side and the finance. Uh, in IT, we actually have a very strong uh, financial management training program that is actually run by the corporate controller who works for Judy. So they put together a training program for managers which is mandatory for all IT managers to go to where they learn about all the terminology, the finance terminology and the processes that we have in place that helps them understand the, the value of some of these financial measures and metrics. Similarly, on the finance side, I actually think the folks in the finance organization in SanDisk are very digitally advanced. And they are digitally advanced because, as we said earlier, we are a very lean organization. And for lean organizations, it's really important for the employees to depend on technology to help improve their productivity and optimize their business processes. If you think about it, the objectives of finance and the objectives of IT are pretty closely aligned. Both of these organizations are looking at how do you make the enterprise more uh, productive and more cost efficient. And so when you look at all the different IT projects that we have running in the company, almost all of them have both finance and IT people on them. Whether it's looking at a supply chain application or a sales application like CRM or even engineering. For example, we have a project going where finance and IT are looking at better ways to track our R&D spending so that we can ultimately determine the return on investment for those R&D investments. Let's talk about this incredible, uh, incredibly lean organization that SanDisk has been able to put together. My goodness, uh, six and a half billion dollars of revenue with how many employees? Just a little over 5,500 and actually that includes our factories in Japan and in China. Now that's over a million dollars of revenue per employee which is really extraordinary, uh, an extraordinary measure of efficiency. How do you do that uh, using information technology to get that kind of productivity? Well, you know, one thing I'll point out is that about Six years ago, we embarked upon a project to implement a new ERP system. And from the beginning, we set as an objective that we would have one um, ERP system, and it would be implemented globally ar across, the, across the whole organization. And we would essentially um, eliminate a lot of different fragmented applications. And I think this is just one thing that has enabled us to be very productive and to maintain that lean structure. The ERP implementation was a catalyst to help transform SanDisk's IT organization from being an organization that had uh, skills that varied skills to skills that became very commonly available and more of commodities in the market. But more importantly, what we did is Using this implementation, we transformed the mindset in IT. We went from a very siloed organization where we had a PMO and we had a business analyst role and then we had a technology team to an organization where if you go to an IT employee today, that, per that person or that employee is responsible for communicating with the business leadership, speaking the business language, understanding the business priorities, and then turning around and taking those priorities and translating them into solutions himself or herself at times, designing the solution, working with the developers, wearing the project management hat. In short, what I'm saying is IT employees today are responsible for end-to-end -end delivery of the initiatives rather than having, th having walls where they throw things over the wall. Thus, we have a very lean organization, we have clear accountability, and hence a very lean model that works very well for us.